My name's Patrick Milborn. I'm an artist, I'm a landscape painter, a Hudson River landscape painter. Hopefully one of the new Hudson River landscape painters. I had always liked the landscape form because I thought it was an interesting thing where you could make mistakes and, uh, and, 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 and not worry about it because sometimes mistakes work out pretty well. I use a two inch brush to start off with, get, try to get some ideas if I wanted to. Right now it looks like a cloudy day. I don't know if I want a cloudy day. I'm not sure yet. I was an illustrator for 33 years and uh, honed my skills as an illustrator. I was always painting, I was always drawing, as we all do, but I never grew out of it. Parents uh, really didn't get it at all. It, it, there was uh, surely no future at all in that kind of a trade, let's say. Because there was nothing you could really do with it. When we were from the Midwest, they didn't think of having, they didn't know about galleries uh, or museums. So as a kid, I was pretty stifled, except for books. Now I would go through old books and I'd see uh, like N.C. Wyeth, and it uh, brought a lot of life. And uh, um, some of the great, great illustrators, I said, wow, unbelievable that someone can do such a thing. Anything around me was uh, fair game. I would go home and uh, try to uh, draw or paint something that made me excited. I would try to maybe emulate. But that was my education, really. I came to New York and uh, lived in the lived in the village, and tried to find myself. This one job I had for a number of years, I would uh, draw. I would draw. Probably should not have been should have been working, but I was uh, drawing little little vignettes, little New York City scenes, and I kept on doing it very 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 detailed and. One of the gals that was working there, who had been there for 35 years, uh, saw, saw some of them, uh, kind of keep them hidden at the time, but they would see them and said, you gotta, you gotta take these out. You gotta try to maybe be an illustrator, be an illustrator, try to take, these look like children's books. You should try children's books. And so that was the beginning now of, um, of thinking that there might be a living to be made in art. It was a long road to get to a lot of trade magazines, which paid fine. You know, trade magazines, and you, you have two or three things to do, and you get a couple hundred dollars, uh, seventy-five dollars a piece at the time for those. Not a lot, but uh, my rent was low. I was a stabilized tenant in New York, so I could. It was great, and uh, the skill level got better. I started using color. And then I started doing faces. I started creating little crowd scenes. And then likenesses. And then the likenesses kind of brought me after many years, really, to The New Yorker, to Sports Illustrated, to Time Magazine, to GQ, and so forth and so on. And those were the, the most exciting days, really, is to, uh, to get a gig with Time. And that honed my skills to think that I can do portraits now. Maybe I can do a real portrait. I would get a portrait from time to time. People would see uh, my, my pieces in the magazines that might want a, a portrait. Recently, I did The Judge here in town. Portraits are work. They're generally not fun. They can be fun if you uh, are not uh, commissioned to do something for someone that's work. Uh, landscapes, a lot of fun there. You can just kind of uh, create as you go. I 
I see a path. I see a path. It'd be a... We've been coming up here to Catskill for uh, 30 years. Every weekend we've come up here. I felt like I was back in uh, Denver uh, seeing the mountains, you know, and I said, this is very, very cool. This could be really neat. I didn't even know really much about uh, Thomas Call and, uh, and, and uh, Frederick Church at the time uh, and all of his colleagues and all of his friends until a little bit later and then seeing him in all the museums and saying, look at that. Okay, I know where I am now, you know. So those were big time influences, all those guys. It's sort of impressionistic, my, my things. They're not, you know, you don't see every leaf. It's not uh, that kind of art or the bark of a tree. You don't really see that. But you'll see the image of that. You'll see a distance of that. I'm moving on a little bit, getting more abstract. Not abstract in the abstract that we know it, how a landscape can be erratic by wind and rain and all types of stuff. It's not just a, a pretty grass and uh, some trees, it's, it's chaotic. I really like that. It's something I, I don't know if I can do. I'm not sure if I can do that yet. And I might have to repaint, 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 redo, whatever it takes to uh, make something work. I'm very, very hard on myself that way. I always try to do better than everyone else. I always tried to bring a portrait to a, a, as far as I can bring it, or a landscape as far as you can bring it without overworking something, and making it absolutely unique if possible. If you do the same thing or the same colors every time, it doesn't mean anything to me. 